Bill? We don't have to wait for a way to press it. I can't. I can't, recur. I can't resist a little something that I just found a picture in a paper. It has to do with the trade bill, I'm sure. But on the Democratic headquarters, national headquarters here, they had a sign on the door, 60 days, it's only fair. And the ACLU next door put up their sign. You want long-term notification of plant closings? Okay. If Mike Dukakis is elected president, a lot of plants are going to close. <laughs> 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 I think we ought to save that for our speeches, too. It <laughs> be a nice little quip to <laughs> open anything. Well, listen, thank you all for coming. Right on the heels of our Moscow visit, we might begin preparing, we have to begin preparing for the Toronto Economic Summit, which will be upon us in less than two weeks. Toronto Summit will be an opportunity to lock in place some of the economic reforms we've been pressing at home and internationally for the past seven years. And it'll also be a chance to press our agenda on several important current issues such as agriculture and trade, which we'll be discussing today. I had a brief whisper from Margaret Thatcher on our way home from the summit that uh, in the meetings they still weren't getting anywhere with regard to agriculture. <coughs> So I guess there's a lot of objection to everything that's been suggested. But, Howard, would you like to begin the discussion? All right, Mr. President, let me uh, begin the discussion by saying for what I think was fully executed and our objectives were fully met. But there's also a chance for the President once more to go face to face, head to head with uh, Soviet General Secretary, and believe me, he more than held his own and you would have been proud of him at every turn. Uh, and Mr. and Mrs. Creel, my parents, Mr. President, and we can, one uh, gentleman's going to join for the presentation, and we can right. well, Why don't you come in and we get a family picture here, too? Should I get on the other side? Mr. Turner. Okay. That's great. Everybody's looking good. Thank you, Mr. Great. And I have a presentation for you. Thank you, Mr. President. What chapter? Uh, Lambda Omega, Georgia State. Hmm. Well, John. You. <laughs> All right. Let me pull this aside and let you folks get in. President, I am, of course, the chairman of the T Foundation. Nice President to see you. Very happy to have you present the award to him. Well, we're going to do it. So what are you doing? We're going to have everybody else come in first. Right. Mr. President, DJ Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Mr. President, thank you for did any of us do the hand grip? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Mr. President, I'm Bruce Fraser, former well, Republican State Chairman of Grand Prix. Well, it's nice to see you. Could I make the presentation now? He and I did the grip. <laughs> <laughs> Is every, everybody together now? Yeah. We'll bring everyone together now for the group right. photo. Okay. Okay, everybody's looking right here. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, do you wish presentation? Mr. President, on behalf of 180,000 teams, I present you with the order of the Golden Maple Leaf, the International Award of Talk Ethics. Well, thank you very and much. Like this. Well, I'm very honored. I appreciate thank that. Thank you, sir. And could we get a leadership team picture? One of the four of us. Oh, right. Four of us. Right. Right. Souvenirs here before you all go. I'd rather to try picking them all up at once. <laughs> key rings with thank you. With thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great seal on them. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. President. Mayor. Okay, great. Well, well, they told me that it was a fraternity for life, and I believed them. It really is. It really is. We thank you very, very much. We're very pleased that they all selected. Well, it's a real honor, very pleased today. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Go on, Marston. Lindsay, go on. He understands. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very well. Thank you all. Thank you for what you did for us in Russia. Well, we appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you again. I'm close to home. I went to Bradley. Hey, I played a little football over there against us. I know you did. President, this is Lauren Dutton. Lauren. Who is the poster child? That's the being so nice to my constituents. Well, listen, I think, I think the senator, if I had, would like a picture with I very much. <laughs> Lauren, would you would be in the middle here? How was that? By the way, Lauren has a baseball, and if you really impress her, she'd let you sign it. <laughs> How do you, how's that, Lauren? Huh? <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. The fortieth year. I knew that was what this was celebrated. And we're going to do an awful lot for a lot of people. Now we need to keep just Lauren and the President with the sign. That's perfect. Just a little bit, please. Thank you. 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 <laughs> Lauren, I don't think they'll want you to open this right away, but inside there is a glass jar, and in the glass jar, which has this seal on it, there are jelly beans. <laughs> Ooh, hey. <laughs> Just like saying. Thank you very much. Okay, one more shot. Oh, yes. Okay. That's a case. Well, thank you very much. Mr. Peter May. Yes, we got Hello there. How are you? Just fine. Good to see you. We appreciate the time and the appointment. Well, schedule. Listen, pleased to see you all. Sure. One okay, sure. one quick group shop with Peter and Betsy. All of you. All of you. All of you. All and Peter, <laughs> everybody, and Peter and Betsy. Here we are. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, President. Nice to meet you. It's brand new. I know. I read that. Pardon me. Tell that. 
Thank you, sir. They had to go all the way to Russia to come home and find it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it's lovely. We really Thank you for taking yes, the time out of this. Time. It's very yes. nice. Thank you all. We were pleased to know that while you were in Russia, we had some Soviet physicians that were visiting our ARA meetings, American Rheumatism Association meetings here. Oh, well. So that was very timely of both of you to be well, exchanging visits. Thank right. you so much, Mr. President. Thank you very much. You. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And welcome back, Mr. President. It was, a, it was terrific. Uh, it really you. was. Got a thank thank speech you. at Moscow University. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Hi. You know Richard Willard? Yes. Hello, Hello President. President. And this is my son, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. How are you? Yeah, my wife, Leslie. Hello, Mr. Hello, President. Hello. Nice to meet you. And yes, our daughter, Lauren. Hello, there. Well, why don't we get a family right. picture? With, why don't you get in the middle? Okay. And I think if the children are here in sure. front of us, Thanks. there. That's great. Your resident right here. Thank you, Mr. President. Right. Well, thank you for a lot of service. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, it's been an honor to be able to. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. That's it's wonderful. been for you. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. A charm for the little lady. Thank you. And a tie bar for you. Oh, this is wonderful. His classmates didn't believe he was coming today, so I said, we'll find something to show them that you've been here this week. It's perfect. Well. Thank you. <laughs> and it's been an yeah. honor. Well, my seven years in your administration has been the highest honor of my life. Well, thank you very much. And I'm most grateful for all you've done. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Good luck. Right. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Goodbye. present to you a memorandum for a later study because uh, we know how busy you are. And the other thing we did come is to thank you very much for the wonderful job you've done on summit. I know that you have uh, made a great impression on all of us, particularly those that are well familiar with the Soviets. And we also realize that all, all that happened and etc. Is, uh, is a good good presentation of future, future hope. Just as you mentioned, a new hope. And this is what we all want, is a new hope. Without, without just for, uh, for uh, yeah. withholding our, our understanding of what the possibilities might be, uh, and also on our continued understanding of the aims and purposes of the Soviet Union. We, we're greatly. <coughs> Pardon me. It's allergy season. <laughs> we, uh, we 
believe me, I'm grateful for all that you've done in helping us in matters like Nicaragua and things of that kind and the, the others. And I think there is reason for optimism with this man. I know he's got opposition within his own government, but I think that he he believes that that glasnost and perestroika could go on in spreading out uh, to the rest of the nations in the eastern eastern bloc there. But we're grateful for the support that you've given us on so many things. And we feel a friendship for the Polish people. And as a matter of fact, we, I think we're rather stern with them recently and the government, not the people, in regard to the labor problems there. And uh, I think we all know that there's a little difference between the government and people. So uh, I'm grateful to all of you for for this, and I shall look forward to reading it. We just want to thank you also for the help and the understanding given solidarity. And, and given the courageous people of Poland uh, at least s some feeling that somebody cares beyond yes. their borders, and you have shown that care. Well, and the Polish people will be able to understand Mr. Gorbachev a lot, a lot better than, than many in many respects, and so the application of glossness should also be applied to the people of Poland yes. by, by their particular regime that they have running it. Yes. So that understanding, we're well aware of it, and, I, and we also want to thank them um, uh, for, for the work that you have been doing and the support that you've given to the Solidarity and, and its leadership and concern for the real human beings as the courageous people of Poland. Well, we feel that very definitely, and just let me... We have some souvenirs here for you to visit here. These are key rings with the, thank you, with the seal on them. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. And now, okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. President. There. Beautiful. Get such a such a seal from your hands. Right. Well, and I thank you for this. Thank you. The very best. Thank you, Mr. President. The very best. And God bless you. Thank you. Good health. Yes. Yes. Enjoy. Good health is important. Great. There's a hope that he may be coming here. Would you feel that you'd be good to him here? I think yeah. so. Yes, I'd be very pleased to. Well, because I've been yeah. talking with him, and, and uh, he's yeah, a right. real hero. We'll follow up with Thank you. Okay. Great. Yes. Thank you.